Uh, we're gonna get wired, doesn't matter. This is not a witch system. To pull the cars up and down, full of slate. Our oxygen level down here is a lot lower, it's a considerable amount lower actually than what it is outside. To the mountains here these are just not i mean look at that it's nothing but slate all that is just slate piled up over the years so today i'm joined by proven demons uh exploring with danny and i picked up a mythical creature along the way some say he never existed some say when there's a westerly breeze his farts can be smelt in florida it's bucky <laughs> Bucky is back. back Bucky, do you know this is the first time I've filmed with you since since Italy. So yeah, so how many months did we say? Six, six, six months. months I've not filmed with you six months. He's repping the merch. You already know. Oh uh, yeah, I got, I got a record. So everyone, if you're happy to see Bucky back, leave a comment now saying "Welcome back, Bucky." I want to see everyone writing it. Let's do this. So obviously we've been doing a lot of tunnels, a lot of mines, a lot of stuff like that. So right now we're heading into one of the most dangerous mines about. Let's do it. Andrew, how are you feeling? I'm ready to die. I'm, it's a good day to die. It is It is quite a good day to die, actually, it's isn't it? It's a good day to die. By the way, have you noticed we're in freaking Skyrim? Look at it. Absolutely look at it. As Dan was saying, that way to Whiterun, watch out for the giants, we'll be all right. <laughs> the hike ahead of us. We've got a hike through the mountains, 42 minutes that way to the entrance of the mine. Um, so yeah, time to get that fitness level up. You ready, boys? I'm ready. I, actually, no, I've not done my stretches yet. It helps. <laughs> so it actually feels like we're in either Jurassic Park or some kind of drug king's back garden. <laughs> we got a waterfall over here. And actually, the camera might be a little bit more steady than normal. I've recently bought a tripod. Obviously, you know we've received some donations, so I bought a tripod to make the viewing that little bit better. We got some nice fresh water from the mine. Hey, we made it. It's more over. Good find, boys. We've actually come out to a road. The car is down there, and we're thinking, can we drive to this rather than walk? But I, I personally think it's going to be over there. I think we've got to go through this valley no, on the other no. side. The map is, it even says we're walking the right direction. Okay. The thing is, if we went that way, we'd end up over at <laughs> Mountain. <laughs> and we we don't want to be at that mountain. No, we need to go up. We need to go up that way. Yeah, I thought so. The path there, look. If you follow that path there, where we parked, go over. And it actually leads you straight to it, that path. 
Oh, it does. Can you see it? Yeah, and it goes all the way around. Yeah, so you got to go that way. Right, wrong way. Let's do it. Bucky's in charge of directions. Yeah, Bucky's always in charge. I said this on a video not so long ago. You know, one thing I miss about Bucky on these road trips is he knows how to pack the back of the car. And he always knows where to go as well. Just right now, leave a comment saying we've missed you, Bucky. It'll make his day, make his week, probably his month. No amount of breath, guys. It was a struggle. It was quite steep. But look at that. It's like a pyramid. I think it's a ventilation shaft, though. Oh. Oh, wow. Yeah, the grave markers. Very old ones. I wonder if this is like a church thing for the... Wouldn't surprise me if this is a grave, you know. Wouldn't surprise me. This is a star. Yo, it kind of looks like a pentagram. Star, it's like each corner. Yeah. I wonder if this is like a graveyard for the slate mine. Don't know. So, we're just wondering now, does this lead down to the underground mine? It's interesting. Crazy. So it's a lift down? It's down there. Really? Yeah, it's a lift. So this is all underneath us, is the mine then? It's a water wheel. No way. Yeah, there's a water wheel down An there. actual real water wheel? Yeah. It's got like white cups in it for when it's been drowned. No way. That's like a workbench there, isn't it? Yeah, that's the workbench. The water comes down that green pipe. Look, look at the tap on the wall. Oh, yeah. You'll be very careful on that, Bucky. Yeah, you realise it's it's literally covering your death. Like... Oh, yeah. oh, God. Bucky, watch out, please. Well, it's just a water wheel, I think. I think it was just to run this motor. There's a belt going on it. Right, well, the sooner you get out of there, the safer I'll feel. Yeah, I, I don't this reckon one, you venture on any further in there. This no. one doesn't look right. Yeah, it's just the water wheel that runs this water. I can't wait to get under there and look at this water wheel, though. Of uh, some old mining shacks. Obviously, I'm not sure if people used to live there or if it was just like a, an office or whatever, but yeah, it's all ruins now. And we've got a bit of a lake here as well. This isn't actually part of the reservoir. There's a little reservoir behind here that we saw, but this is just a, a lake, yeah. I mean, it is a shame that it's not a super hot day and it's not early because it's like 8 p.m. 8 30 maybe even 9 p.m. now because i would have liked to have take, taken a dip in the water so we've been walking for a good 30 40 minutes so far and we've got another 21 minutes to go it is you know, 0 0.8 miles it's absolutely in the middle of nowhere we've got to climb this bloody valley you know we are off choose these locations now we've come to this really rural uh, church this must have been the church for the mine uh, you can tell by the arch windows and stuff. Some of these rocks in the ground may just be naturally here. They could be markers. Let's go and take a closer look. All right, yeah. Just be balanced. The old lock, that little lock would have got him on it. I wonder if it was the church then. It might have been just because of that. Oh, these, they might have been bars actually. They might be back then. They might have prayed before they went into the thing and stuff like that. You know. Yeah. Mining. Ah. Ah. to what once would have been a small little village maybe the miners families lived here but now it is just literally ruined let's go up here and see what foundations we can find not really much left to see now please <laughs> guess what's uh, guess what's in the wall there's a bone no joke. Best not film that. Someone might accuse us of putting it there. Now comes the most grueling task, and that is walking up here. And we're not hikers. We don't do this. You know, we explore. We're kind of fit from it all. Uh, you know, all these ladders and stuff. But still, we are no hikers. No, I don't. We don't do this for fun. So we're not. We're not fit for this. I've got to say, we're not fit for this. So do expect some out of breath pants. So maybe some cussing. I'll blow that door. And uh, a long walk up here, which I'll probably cut to the top. That's a, uh, it's, um, I don't know. 
I can't even really catch my breath. I'm knackered. Guys, send help. You ready, Dan? Yeah, one sec. So, um, it was a long walk up here. I'm not the fittest anymore. You know, I'm getting, I'm aging. I'm not as fit as what I used to be. Back when I was doing mixed martial arts. Well, I was saying that before then, I already told you, I was a big lad. I was nearly 18 stone, maybe probably over at one point. Um, and I lost all that weight, became really fit, and then put a little bit back on, not too much. Um, but obviously I'm not as fit as what I was then. So this was definitely a shock to me, and I'm, I'm gonna improve my fitness over time. Because by the time I go to Japan in three weeks time, I wanna be about 10 kilos lighter, because there was no car, so we're gonna be doing most of the walking, so I need to get fit. But let me show you a bit, pretty much where we came from. Right on the other side of this, we were right down the valley, we went right down there, and I mean, yes, yeah, some of you are going to be like, dude, I walked that for fun on a Sunday morning twice a day. Yeah, maybe so, but I don't. Oh, Danny's still there. Didn't know you was waiting for me. I'm just ranting on the camera, Danny. Never mind me. Hi, right, guys. Let's go. As we walk through the valley in the shadows of Slate, I take a look at my life and realise I've got everything left. Didn't bring a drink because I've been waiting to find that fresh water right there. That's my source of uh, energy right there, guys. Uh, everyone, that, my friends, is some quality H2O. The moon is out. The stars are about to start popping out. The sun is officially setting. Or should I say set? And now it's just a matter of time before the darkness consumes the land. Oh. This has to be the entrance, this little cave hole right here. We're going to go through here, see if this takes us into the underworld. I'm hoping it does, but as you can see, the sun is definitely going down now. We've been wandering around here for hours. Um, it's getting quite cold now that we've been stood still for a while, so let's get in there, see what we can find. Well, I mean, this looks like an entrance, I guess. A creepy ass entrance. Oh, we're gonna get wet, it doesn't matter. We already know. You know how it is. You ready, Bucky? Yep. Just to try to blind it. Dip my toe in it, and it's a little bit cold, so there's no point. Let's just go for it. Oh, it's cold. I mean, it is super refreshing considering. It's, it's super refreshing considering where we've just been, the hike, but it's it is cold. But I don't mind. It's nice and refreshing. There's loads of old wooden timber on the floor. Oh, it's getting deeper. I'm loving the colours on the roof and stuff. It's all like greenish grey and orange. Oh, my feet are actually aching. Mine are It's so bad in the water. I know. Hi boys. What is happening, Danny? That water was freezing. It was it, cold, weren't it? It made my feet ache. Absolutely freezing bucket. <laughs> freezing. So what did you think that water? Numbing. Living. Numbing. Only word for it, numbing. Look at this on the floor. There's an old winch cable of some sort. Big metal one, all rusty. And another one. out a little bit but this passage we've been walking down here for 10 minutes already and it's doesn't seem like it's gonna end I got our first turn off right uh, let's poke our heads in just to see I guess
Yeah, this is a big empty part, this. What causes this kind of foam? It's weird. Because it actually, no, it looks like um, soap almost. But I wonder what actually causes that in the water. It looks like crystals. Oh no, it's very soft. Look, it just dissolves straight on my foot. If you know, leave a comment below. Last bit. We've just walked another 15 minutes and this is taking us to a, the second little alcove we found. Well, some of it was bolted here. Yeah. yeah. Bolts down there as well. Might have had a this might have been a could have been. From the could have been, yeah. Oh yeah, it's almost exactly the same as the oh, last big oh, one. Right, oh yeah. Stop. Right, we gotta we gotta kind of remember where we're coming. Yeah. We don't want to get lost. I don't think this will go too far. Let's check it out, but let's not go too far. Feels good to get out of that water though. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's a dead end. It's a dead end. Well, yeah, it is. It's a dead end. That's from where we've just come out of. It's another little tunnel. Very similar. Yeah, it's all symmetrical. So one of the reasons I'm super excited to be here and I wanted to bring this video to you guys is because I saw the pictures of this place and I'm not even joking you, it looks like the Goonies. We have to cross some lagoons. When we get further deeper underground, there's lagoons and there's like rope bridges that got to cross them. It's like a real life Goonies adventure, so I was like, you know what, we have to go and hit this mine, we have to go and explore this, and bring to you a modern day Goonies adventure. That's exactly what we're doing, boys. That's right. Goonies adventure. So I've just put up our first marker there. Obviously we're working down a completely straight tunnel right now, but we put up a marker just to know how far we've come, and if there is many more tunnels like this, to know that we're coming down the right one. You know, safety first, safety first. Yeah, it's behind the rock. Yeah, it's behind the rock. Heavy water behind there. Oh, look at the old track. It's all fully complete here. That's a winch. Yeah, this is a winch. This must be Yeah, because the, the wire goes all the way down. I've been seeing the winch right back there, all, all rotted. So yeah, this is an old winch system to pull the carts up and down full of slate. That is That's not, old. That's not been turned. <laughs> yeah. Is it even still turned? No, you won't be able to No, how would you turn that? Wow, look at these tracks. Oh, it's starting to open up now, guys. Wow. Oh, there's, another, there's a big cog over there. Look at that. Oh, that's a good find. Oh, these must be stoves or something. Oh, this could be the blacksmith part. Definitely, they were heating stuff up here. Not sure if it was food or. Now, to continue the quest to find the Bridge of Death. Now, I've got to say, the name of the bridge doesn't fill me with confidence. Why couldn't they have called it the Happy Bridge or the Bridge of 
uh, the Bridge of Hope. Why call it? Why call it the Bridge of Death? We'll soon find out. Oh, oh sucker! Oh. oh, the water's getting colder now. What's in there? Was it water? Yeah, it's <laughs> It looks like an old guillotine. <laughs> Is it an old kettle? Oh. It does look like an old uh, guillotine. <laughs> The thing is, it's going really, it's really short down here. Oh, that water is cold. The roof is, uh, it's getting, the ceiling's getting a lot more lower, but the water is getting deeper. It's right up to my shin now. I'm not complaining, I don't mind the water, to be honest. I know a lot of people have said we're wellies. Wellies for me are way too clunky. I wouldn't feel comfortable in it because I don't wear wellies. I'm wearing what I feel comfortable in. And these, and the shoes I've got on, yeah, I'm getting soaking feet. But I feel comfortable walking around in these. Wow. This, uh, this is a massive cave in here. Hey, hey, shh, shh. Maybe we shouldn't climb on it then. Yeah, probably a good idea. Yeah, uh, there's some big rocks. Yeah, I wouldn't climb on those, but... Yeah, it's just easier. Now you gotta get older. There is another direction to go, you know. Which uh, way? Is there? Yeah. From where? A fork in a road. We took we took the right way. Uh, the, we didn't oh, go we left. Oh, we took the left, didn't we? So the right. That was the uh, left instead. So we can go back. Huh? Let's go and check it then. All right, I guess we're gonna check the left side now. All right, so we've come to the other part. Oh wow, it is a big lagoon. It is. It's like the car kid, but no, no cars. It's quite a big lagoon, all right. But this is not the one we're looking for, because the one we're looking for has a bridge going across it. Wow. That is, uh, that is some black water. Should we try and test how deep it goes? Oh, yeah, I've got a glow stick. Yeah. Right, so we've got the glow stick on. I'm going to switch this off. Flood the lake with water or with uh, light real quick so we can all get a good shot. I think it stopped. Yeah, so it's actually not too deep because we can still see the emittance of light. Now, now you think that's deep. Imagine the car cave. The car cave, you literally, it disappeared into the blackness. Well, not only one way to go, and that is through the collapsed mine. Collapsed mine it is, then. Yes. Bloody hell. Now, you can probably just about see the glow in there with the glow stick. But now we've got to go back to that collapsed mine, because that is the only way to go. We're going to climb over the collapsed rubble and hopefully get to the bridge of death. We're going to go across all this. It can be super dangerous. One slip of that, it'll crush you. So, uh, yeah, be safe, boys. Right, one at a time, okay. Yeah, yeah. Some really big I 
Alright, uh, small one, pass me out the bag. So we made it across that. I mean, it's, it is dangerous, don't get me wrong. That, that was pretty dangerous, but you should have... Obviously, you've seen the, the Underground Area 51 video I did, didn't you? Yeah, the, the, un, the underground parts of that were broken down and smashed, and that was bad. Let's just hope that this isn't a dead end. <laughs> All I know is it's in the area, so we explored one. I guess it's probably another one we got to go find. Really? Yeah, it's not in this pitch, one. In the pitch black? It's got grids over it, that's all I know. We took a chance with this one. Crap. You want to go find it? Oh, in the dark? We found We well, came all the way here. Well, I mean, we can, look. I mean, we can try and find it. If we don't, then it's obviously Same. we've got to we've got to come back. I guess so. Leave a comment below. Should we go and look for it right now, or should we come back and make another separate video? Leave your comment right now. Agreed. Everybody watching what Dan just said. Should we let me know in the comments right below? Say look for it if you want us to look for it. Continue looking for the correct cave. We're in the wrong one. Or say no, don't. It's too dangerous. Come back another time. Let me know now. Don't put too much pressure on that big rock. want to see us go and find your mind leave a comment right now drop a like on the video and leave a comment tell us if we can find it if we can't find it in the dark i promise there will be a part two where we come back and we find it i have to see the death bridge i don't know guys you want to find the death bridge into that water there you can hear heavy rushing water it's right behind this wall sounds like, sounds like there's a waterfall and loads of rushing water behind it Oh, it's warm out of here. <laughs> That's nice and warm. I'm not even going to lie. I'm so tired. But the journey isn't over yet. We still have Death Bridge to find. It's pitch black here. I can't even see. And I, actually, you know, I can see the outlines of mountains with a slightly bluer sky. we still got to search for this out here. We are super high now. Andrew seems to think he's found the entrance. Let's go and find out. Full moon. The full moon approaches. The darkness swallows us in. The mountains of slate take our souls. <laughs> you dead, Bucky. Yeah. I've done a lot of walking. Two hours of walking, really. I know. Anything? 
Elephant. I saw a massive black hole, but it turned out to just be a huge square of moss on a rock. Okay. Then <laughs> the dark it looked like anything. I see them sheep eyes over there. Look at the demonic eyes over there. Oh, there. Oh, look. They're watching. Right, it? They're watching us. We are going back to the car. We know the entrance to the real mine. The mine was meant to be in with the bridge of death. But we need to see how far away the walk is from the car park because we can't do this. We can't do the same walk we've just done. It's nearly half past one in the morning now. We originally set off on this adventure from my house at 4 p.m. We arrived here for just before 8 p.m. So it's been quite a long trip already. I'm not sure if I could make it tonight. We're going to have a look and see. If not, we'll have to come back and do it for the part two. So right now we... Uh, there's a sheer drop, you can't even see it, on the left hand side there's a sheer drop but we kind of took a road that hasn't been used in about 40 years since the mine shut now this this road takes us straight to the mine but it is so bad <laughs> I, I think we're going to fall over the side so I've got to film just in case we do crash well let's go boys, we're in lift mode Yeah, I take back what I said about that other road being the worst road in England. I think we've just found a, a winner. You can feel the bounce of winner. We're literally driving on the f***ing mountain. Oh, sorry, we're testing. We're literally driving a mountain. On the side of a mountain. <laughs> on the side of a mountain. The car is actually sideways. I know my camera, you're probably looking, it looks straight. We are sideways right now. Oh, wait, supposed to, this looks dodgy over here. It looks like a ditch. Stay over your side, uh, exactly. <laughs> Oh, it doesn't look too bad. It's dipping that way anyway, so it's not too bad. <laughs> so it's not dipping towards the... No, we can always it's just a sheer, a, a sheer drop, but you obviously... See if you can use this torch. It's just... Let's see, hold on. It is just a drop off the edge. Right. It goes, you, the, even the light doesn't touch the bottom. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what's that? Uh, no, well, that's that same kind of mark, isn't it? Maybe it's a hole in the ground. Maybe it's from the mine. No, it's where they put hay bales for the animals, yeah. Well, nothing's drove up here in years. No, tractor will uh, tractor be too wide. Really. Well, I don't know. It might be too wide to come up here with a tractor, really. But saying that, if they're putting air bales in there, they've got to, oh, they might bring a quad bike up. They might bring a quad bike up with the air bales on it. I don't think anything's been on here. There's no real tracks. Well, there's no way of turning around, anyway. Yeah, I was just thinking that. What if we get to a point how... What is up fighters? Right now we have arrived finally. It was such a trek getting up here. It was uh, like sheer drops and cliffs. It was uh, it's pretty scary. So drop a like on this video. We are risking the car's life and our own. But we finally, we think we've made it. This is part two. I've dropped this today because I didn't want to make people wait. We are going in to the mine. Right, is this the one? Yep. Okay. This was a lot easier to get to than the other one. Yeah, well, I, the car didn't like getting here, but... Oh, we walked for a good hour to get to the other one. That's true. We're going in, boys, yeah? Yep. Let's do it. Let's go. Get this over with. This one seems bigger. You see the old door there? Yeah. But this one looks different inside. It looks a lot more oxidised, like a, an orangey colour. Have you got your sensor on? Uh, I've got it in my bag. I'll, I'll, I'll turn uh, the uh, 
oxygen and 4 in 1 monitor when we get deeper into the mine. So the last, in the last episode you yeah. saw, that mine we was in actually does connect to this one. Well it did do at one point, it no longer does. So we wasn't too far away really, but we literally had to drive around to the other side of the mountain. It took us 36 minutes to drive. Uh, it was only literally like nine miles because it was all crazy country lanes. Tiny little lanes in fact. I mean you can see the old trap on the floor. Oh look at that. There's an old spade handle. There's an old spade handle. Oh, so back to wet feet it is, isn't it? Wet cold to the right Oh, shaft. yeah, there's a big shaft. Oh, is that cool? Pretty, pretty high. Oh, well, it's uh, It's 3 o'clock in the morning and we're still getting cold feet. Actually, I don't know, maybe I can. Oh, I don't know about that. I'm avoiding the coldness so far. Like a ninja. Like a ninja. Oh, I didn't even get a wet feet, boys. Should have ninja it like me. I don't know. Oh, wow. The roof looks quite shiny. Yeah, it does. It's cold though. This one's this one's actually colder than the other mine. Unless we don't go. Or no, we'll never know unless we go. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah, it's just water, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, the banging is just literally water on this tin roof here. It's falling to bits. It's covering an old shaft. There's only one thing that creeps me out about these mines is like anything could be living down here. You never know. Like the imagination really can run wild. Tell you what, it's cold down here. I like this shaft, it's a lot drier. Yeah, but it's cold. It's such a cold breeze coming down here. What's that cold? What the hell is that? I don't know, what is that? Soundstorms. Butter wrap. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. It opened up alright. Right. No, it's strangely wide. 
Just like the, foot, the thing is, it doesn't look like it's been blasted, it's like it's been cut. And now, like, they've dug it out instead of blasting it. Yeah, it could have been a pickaxe job. Is that a long lift shaft? Well, it's a switchboard for. Yeah, well, I don't know. Oh, well, that's a dead end there. That doesn't look like it goes anywhere. <laughs> you can if you want. It goes right down as well. well I think they do cave diving here because it looks like there's a wire that goes there. So it's all yeah. spin down there. What the hell's all this? This is unbelievable. Bro, get your uh, big, big torch out. Let's flip this flight. This is amazing. Oh, do you hear the echo? Oh, look how clear the water is. There's a rubber dinghy over there. I hear a rubber dinghy out there. Ah, oh, it's to get across the outside after the ropes fall. You can pull yourself across. That's climbing rope. Fine. Well, what's that? There's like a little toy oh. duck in there. <laughs> yeah, flamingo. Pink flamingo in the water. So this can't be the. This is not the rope bridge. This isn't. This isn't the bridge of death. This isn't the bridge of death. This is. No, I think you've got to get across. I don't know. This is this the only way? Right. Well, we're gonna have to take turns in going across in the dinghy. Oh, let's have a look. Yeah, let's have a look first before we. I mean, what the hell's with all these fake spider webs, though? Look. Fake spider webs, what? Yeah, on the walls. Halloween decorations. Yeah. It's like someone's had a Halloween party down here. We just found a, a, a big rock. It's, like, it's made to look like a machete or a knife. Oh, it's been carved, yeah. But we're going to do a little bit of a depth test. See, uh, see how deep. I've thrown a glow stick over there just as a marker to know that we're about halfway when we're on the boat. Well, yeah, but this one's going to go to the bottom. Alright, we're going to throw the glow stick in and just see how far it goes. Wow. Whoa. Oh, it's gone. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, there. No, it's still going. It's still going. It's going underneath. Whoa. Has it gone underneath? Yo, yeah, okay. it just, it just it went. It went. Wow. It's, it's no, no, it's gone. It's, it's gone. Bro, it's gone. There's, there's wow. no end to this water. That's some depth. This is straight up bottomless pit. Bro, wow. that, I've not seen that before. It went fast or not? Yeah. That went quick because of the rocks, and that's going some depth for that. Whoa. Are you sure you want to go across there and I'm thinking now? That's going some depth for that. <laughs> wow. Alright, boys, let's do it. Get the dinghy out. Get the dinghy out, Andrew. Are you taking a photo? Yeah. Yeah. Well, Bucky, you've been, you've been out of action for a long time, so. I mean, for me, this is just another day in the it was office. It's scary now. going in cocky, but I had someone in the boat with me. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> true. The boat with me. That's well, true. You had someone in the boat with you. Yeah, yeah he resurrected. He resurrected a, a big, a, a big like a three three person boat. Wow. Me and Dave. Blew it up. It started going down as you. It started going down as you went there, and it started going flat as you come back. Yeah. Can you guys show your torches out there for a sec? So you've seen me use this monitor on a, a couple of episodes ago. I thought I'd whip it out quickly and check to make sure there's nothing dangerous going on. But what I have noticed is our oxygen level down here is a lot lower. It's a considerable amount lower, actually, than what it is outside. Outside, it was 23.4% oxygen. Down here, 199 We're only 0.9% away from it, uh, giving us a reading of low oxygen. So we've got to really watch out down here. There's obviously no, no real air coming down here, so... Yeah, that's something to watch out for. I'll keep that on. I'll keep it in my backpack. If it goes off, we've got to worry. Watch that pole behind you. Yeah, you need to go on the other side. Yeah. Oh, I that. Yeah. Uh, looks like it's my turn to go. Oh. Can you just pop? You need to get out of it and then get back in it.
next obstacle I've got across the water. But look at this. I mean, we could try and walk across this, but this is the bridge of death. This is the, I'm pretty sure this is the bridge of death. I mean, we could walk across it, but the only thing is, is that, is that rusty? It's so, my fox thing up. Yes. I don't know, guys, leave a comment right now. What would you do? Would you walk across this and try and balance and hope you don't fall or take the ball? Leave a comment now, because I don't know what to do. I don't know if them cables over there like the, the iron, um, the iron, the iron chains hanging from the ceiling. I don't know if that's actually suspending this. Because if it is, I definitely don't want to walk across it. I'll let the other ones help decide as well. But leave a comment below, what do you think? Come on, bro. You good? You got this, Andrew. Bro, it's, you're going to want to come across. Everyone's going to want to see this. What? Yeah, it's true. This is it's so cold down here, guys. You have no idea. Look at my breath. It's ridiculous. Shh. Don't, don't tell Andrew that. <laughs> don't tell Andrew that. I'm the cross. <laughs> you got this, bro. Come on. Oh, quite a while, at least five minutes. And plus, don't forget, Andrew. If it, if Andrew, Andrew, if it pops, don't forget it's not going to sink because there's two other parts that are separately deflated, inflated. So you're not going to sink. I love how I love how Andrew has all these ideas, but as soon as it comes to it, he's the one questioning it all. Just watch you don't pop the boat. I'm gonna get back. <laughs> and no one knows we did it. Are you ready? take the rope so we can pull you if we need to. Now this is what we've got to walk across. We've made it to the bridge of death. This is the bridge of death. How are you feeling right now? We're going to walk bridge? across this though. How the fuck are we going to walk across that? you just got to walk across it and don't fall in. how it's all your idea and then as soon as it comes to it it's terrifying you're the one questioning it all like oh we're stupid <coughs> uh, Bucky is the last one across he's coming across on his own <laughs> yeah yeah we really do because otherwise otherwise we've, we've literally had it we've got to swim across you know what I did for right, that or we got put your feet in first and slide in on your butt. Well, get your hands to the water first. I know. We'd have to bathe in it there for a bit <laughs> to get used to it. The problem is, he has.
has to bring it over this way now or else none of us are getting back. No, I will swim. I'll swim. So I've got to. I just, you know what it is? It's not the water that bothers me. It's, it's like the, just the idea of the could, there could be some kind of creature at the bottom of it, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. like, like you're in just this little crappy rubber dinghy and there's just like jaws of death beneath you. All the could run out of it. Well, that as well, yeah, I suppose. Well, it's too late, we're here now. See what? Keep hold of the rope, okay? This is why I told you. Worst case scenario is you just gotta paddle if you float off. This is why I told you not to pull it back so we can have a rope on wrap, our side. Wrap that rope that you've got, wrap it round this one. <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea actually. Wrap the rope around that rope. So See? that way you don't lose this rope. See, I'm not just beauty, but he's got the brains. No, no, just put it round like a like your um you know when he, uh, the action movies when people put something around the pole uh, like a wire and they slide down it. It's kind of yeah, like that. You're gonna have to bring the rope with you. Anyway. Like a zip line. Don't float off. But the weight of the the weight of the um, rope around that shouldn't let it float off. This isn't a big deal. It's exploring the bucket. Technically, right? Pretty fast. Watch this other one, bro. Yeah, perfect, perfect landing. Grab his camera, don't let him fall into the ocean. That's now, uh, you don't have to pull from Nope, sure. You got it. Pull safely across, boys. Right, challenge, hey. challenge number two. Yeah, but you haven't seen what's over here yet, Bucky. I know not. Wait, what's your finger, finger on? Now? What? Your detector just went off. No, it didn't. It did? You guys didn't hear that? Check it. It just went off. I swear to you, it just went it, off. If it went off, the alarm would be going off. It said something. <laughs> it might be a battery. No, I'll just charge it up. Oh. No, it's not gone off. In fact, we've got a slight bit more oxygen. We've got 20.2%. Oh, that's nice. So. Alright, we've got the rope back. Leave a comment below, tell Andrew to come. He doesn't want to come across, but bro, you've got to do it. You've come this far. We haven't even decided if we can get across. Oh, yet. we can. Don't worry. We can do it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Well, I got you. Get it in properly. It's just grinding against the side. You got to sit in it more. Get in it more. I'm pulling. I'll pull it while you go back. Is there any right there? Right, when we get set rest, it's such a bad idea. Oh, I'll be finished. Shine a light on the box with no light. Here, uh, Bucky, you have a hand free. You take this first, sir. It's got to go on now, crap, yeah. See, that looks a lot easier than the last one. Not as far, neither. No. Not as far. No, it's not. Yeah. Oh, no, it's but it's easy because he'll just pull us out. It's Dan Danny's it's the hardest for Danny because he's got to get out of his own. That bridge is creaking. The bridge is creaking? Yeah. Because you can hear it. Look, look at it, look at it swaying underneath there. No, no, 100%. Look at all the rust falling off it. Yeah, that that. No, 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 over there. It's all, it was all the them oh. bottom bits of swaying. You can still do a, do a swaying. Dan, if you want to take a look ahead one more time yeah. and see what's over there, it's even worth risking our lives to do this. <laughs> <laughs> it's Man, always worth it. Oh, crap. Oh, Is there another one? <laughs> Well, he's just lost his leg on the other side. You can't even, you need paddles basically. Yeah. No, we can't call it, boys. I'll put you guys through, I ain't doing it. And there's nothing but a lake on the other side. 
I'll just paddle across. Oh, you got a rope pulled, yeah? Yeah, exactly. Come on, this is an adventure. This is the real life Goonies, bro. Andrew, you signed up for this. Well, you signed us all up for this. You made me drive up that crazy ass country lane for mm -hmm. 40 minutes or whatever it was. Now, yeah, boys, looks like it's my turn. Oh, is he? Get out. You need to get out over to Danny quick. He's put a hole in the boat. He put a hole in the I didn't. Why is everyone blaming me? Because you let in it. He put a hole in it. Right. So, Danny, we're going to have to. Do you have that tape? Right. Let me see what I've got in my bag. I don't have any tape. Who has the tape? I've no tape. Hey, the outside. The outside has come. Yeah, so do you think it'll work? No. Is this a joke? Where's the slit? Oh, I think it's. I don't know if it's in the middle or the big end. It's in one. That's the only bit that's stuck. No, because that's two separate teeth, isn't it? I know. Yeah, it's, but they're both gone down. How is that possible? Only one slit, isn't it? Where's the slit? Yeah. It's that. So basically, we're going to have to blow it up after each use and rush <laughs> over. No, it won't make it. It just went flat in getting in and out of it. We're, we're going to have to try. Side. We're going to have to try because I'm back. How are we going to get Danny back? You should have brought the box here because the box has got patches in it. Where's the box? Oh, in it's the in the car. car. And that has patches in it. We have nothing. Don't worry, Bro, there's got to be something in all our bags that we can use. I've got nothing in my bag. Danny, have you got anything? <laughs> I think you get a boat to it. <laughs> I reckon it'll still float. I think it'll, ha it'll have to float long enough to get well, us back. We'll have to blow it up we'll and get it. And just... let's, try and, let's try and pump part two up. It might just come down from all the... Oh, I've seen the slit. It's huge. Where is the slit? There. Uh, but the rest... I know we might not have blown up as much because of the outside being blown up first. Yeah. So, no, that, that's a good thing. I think it's still usable. We'd have to be... We have to be quick. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but then again... Oh, oh wait. The if you if you can keep your finger outside now, right? If you can keep your finger, oh no, it is. It's coming out of there. Can't be. It is. Oh. It is. Wait, stop rubbing it on the ground first off, because yeah, I know. Oh, dude, oh, what are you doing? Well, what are you doing, bro? He's gonna just try and walk it. No. Oh, bro. Be careful, dude. You have to be so careful doing this. We like to see. Oh my God, Danny, if you make this, you're a savage. Danny walking the bridge. Wait. Guy. Where's the rope, just in case, so he can grab on a floor. Just don't it. bang on the on, on that because it will the suspenders will break on it. Maybe this is why I'm dead. Yeah. I'm getting rubbish. Uh, Bucky, move me quick. This is in case. Bucky, if he falls in, we can throw him a rope. Come on, Danny. Look at the state of all that falling off underneath. What rope is coming out of it? Be so careful with that goes through, bro. I don't think it'll go. I don't know, bro, it's been submerged in water for I don't know how yeah, long. The top's not that, that bad. It's yeah, but it's the bottom. Right. Them, them suspenders there are keeping it afloat, I think. Just take it easy. Just take it easy. You got this. You got this, you're almost there, bro. You only have a few more steps. You got this, nice thing. I can't believe the bolt's popped on us, boys. I can't believe you just did. 
basically just pulled this off. You're so close, boy. You got this. You got this. Yeah, okay. So that's, that's one objective done. Now, now we have to get this thing up. Now we have to get this thing up. Now we have to get Right. Well, that's the only thing. Now swimming. Listen. We get in the boat. Because no, no. Listen to this. Because we could put all the bags in the boat. If someone swam across, get all the bags in the boat, get it across, and then the rest of us have to swim. But at least all our luggage and stuff will be. Yeah, but the thing is, we're gonna freeze our tits off. Yeah. Yeah. Freeze and die, dude. That's. I mean, you can end up with going to shock or anything like that. That's gonna be cold. <laughs> I don't know if we've got any other choice at the moment. No, that's the problem. It's old climbing rope. I don't want to trust leaning all the way. It's not that. If you get in the water and use that, it's just gonna pull down because it's stretching. You're, yeah, you're gonna go under. The issue is broke. It, there's no choice. We're gonna have to inflate the boat. Oh, Wait, it's dead, dead. what the hell? It's dead. Oh, it's not sticky. Maybe don't go gorilla glue. It's back. It's... Please say you have glue. No, because I used it in the car, I think, because uh, I used it on the reg plate. You must have to. Oh, I have That's got. That's the punch you kit, Is it? Yeah. That's the punch you And I've got gorilla glue. You have gorilla glue and we found it. Wait, wait. We've got the puncher. Well, and I've got spare Dragon Ball Z boxes. Oh. <laughs> you can swim back then, bro. <laughs> Gorilla Girl and the puncher. And I've got spare socks. So that, and people think I'm not equipped. Did I really not record him coming back? Ah, well, I didn't know that was a puncher repair kit. And I nearly threw that. I thought it was a piece of rubbish. Right. No. We've all just been discussing how to get back. Across. you got to wait 30 minutes, though. Oh, well, that's, that's fine. fine. It's fine. Time. And we found the puncher repair kit. I'm oh, so we have to thank Dan, Dan for that. Without Dan, yeah. we would not be getting back over Yeah, here. I had no idea. I had it either. Dan has took that out of the box and put it in your bag. I don't know why. I don't even remember doing that. It's fate. Oh. Let's get fixed it then. Let's get fixed it. Right, so we fixed the puncher. Well, we, we think we have. Bucky, you've left my socks on there. <laughs> Keep them. They don't get wet anymore. So, we're going to put it in the water. We're going to blow it up. We've got to see if... It's actually gonna s survive. But our theory is we get a, one person across, and at least if there's one person across, we can send them outside uh, for 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 help. Otherwise, we literally have to swim. If one person gets across, they can try and blow that blue one up and see if that's not punctured. Oh, that's true. I think they're slit. This is not for you no more. Know, yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think mean, how do you feel, Andrew? I just. I want to go and be in bed and edit this video and survive the journey. Um, guaranteed, we'll get one person across at least. Yeah, I think so. I think we will. If they're really quick about it on that rope, get themselves over out. And if it's okay, we'll do the next person and we'll keep you going. You get in it, that end, and you get out of it, that end. Yeah, yeah, because if you put pressure on that, you'll damage, you'll damage the patch. It'll put too much pressure on the patch. It'll blow it off. You know, boys, I warned you of this. You know, puncturing bolts and stuff. Andrew warned about this. You punctured it. I warned about it. That's why I suggested staying on the end. Just to stay on it. I can't believe you're signing anything. I know. Well, who put it on that slate? I was saying from the start that I thing. said and, uh, Andy got in it off the bridge. This is the moment of truth. Oh, this is where we find out if the patch works. It's uh, definitely staying inflated. Let's have a look at right, Let's just get it in the water and go. Yeah, yeah let's just go before it's too late. Alright, where's your keys? Right, uh, Bucky's out first. <laughs> yeah, Bucky. If he goes down, get help. Hold it, stay here. One set, one set. Watch out, watch out. On the side. Go on below, 
Oh. It's popped. Oh, you go, go, it's popped again. Oh, it's popped again. It's popped again, go. Boy, it's that rust. I could hear the bubbles. I could hear the bubbles coming out of it. Yeah. Right. We might be able to get across if you blow it, or we'll send it back and then you blow it. But you're gonna have to get it. Alright, pull it back and we'll blow it up. Go pull, pull. Right. Let's put it here to set sail. Where did it pop from this time? It popped from somewhere different. popped on that far side. Oh, well, that's where it was originally then. Is it from the flat? Oh, careful. Where did it pop from? No, it, there's a hole. It's this tiny, it's tiny hole. Blow it up. Somebody blow it up. I'll get in so and there. go. It's this one here. Is it going to last for us, man? I don't know. <laughs> Get me and Dan rescued. Make sure you have the wrong fucking, you're gonna have to help me out. Oh, shh, shh. Be quiet. What? Yeah, it's popped from underneath the ears. How bad is it? How bad is it? Oh, it's fucked. Bro. Alright, Danny, get over here. Just drop it. Bro, don't pop it even more. Bro, you probably popped it I don't know how many times now. <laughs> Panicking because you were going so fast. Put my camera in as well. Are you ready?
But your screen is broken for good, bro. No way of getting there in that number one. Now, so it's Dan's turn, and we're, we have an end of the rope. We're going to try and pull him across. Right, I'm coming, bro. Try and stay still so you don't move and get any water in it. Right, are you ready to push off that bar? What was that? Your rope snapped off. That was just the rope. Do what? Your rope snapped off. Oh my. Wait, can you grab the rest of the rope? Is there any rope over there, bro? No, I got oh. sinking. I need to get out. Okay, come on, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Oh. Careful. Try to push off of that. It's not going to do the number two. I'll tell you how. So if he can wrap the rope, you can pull the rope over to your end. I can't see if you fucking see it. Uh, Hold you, on. Can you move? It's walking towards you, that's it. But I just want to get this over the rope. And then pull it towards us. No, he's got to pull this towards him. Alright, go on then. And then you can tie the rope up. Well, yeah. how do we get I'll, the I'll wait, 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 Slowly pull it, slowly, it might have it. He might have looked over it. Yeah, he's moving. Slowly, Danny. I really slow, it's coming to you. I can see it. Yeah, that's coming to me, but where's the other one? That's what I'm saying, slowly pull it. It's coming, it looks like it, it looked like it was coming to you then. Alright, let's try it. Keep your look there anyway. What? Oh, you ain't going to be able to hold my mind sand. Yeah, it's a heavy rope. You need to put that back in again.
because you can't lose, you can't lose the rest. Do what? Of rocks before we just send it, so we're not. No, no, no. Send it, send it. I'd push it down the middle, Bucky. No, because if you push off that way, I'd rather push it that way so we can chuck yeah. rocks over there. Right, It'll okay. go that way then, won't it? Right. Rocks. Let's, let's start throwing rocks. Somebody sit with the light stand here or something. We'll talk a chance. Someone's going to get in that line. Yeah, that's true. Do not do an Andrew. Wait, 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 don't get it yet. You don't have the no, rope no. ready. No. It's alright, it's alright. He's got another form. He's already in. I need the end of the rope. Danny, he's on his way. Shit. Stop, just take it slow. You won't go down that middle bit. There you go. And if you get to, if you get to that bar, you just have to push yourself a bit forward. He's about to try and throw the rope to you. You're doing really well, dude. Oh, the whole thing was shaking. Oh. All that wooden bit. Alright, you've broken the rope from here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Daddy, hold on, hold on. Throw the rope. That'll be fucking easy. Well, he's here now. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, you're gonna have to come down here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, you're gonna have to come down here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, you're gonna have to come down here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, you're gonna have to come down here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, you're gonna have to come down here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, you're gonna have to come down here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, you're gonna have to come down here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, you're gonna have to Rescue mission! <laughs> Rescue mission! Hold on, I got a point, watch out. Rescue that's mission complete, boys. That's funny. You didn't leave out over there, did you? <laughs> <laughs> We're not going well, just gone down a lot. Yeah, because we've just tore, I've just rigged it straight out. I think we just tore the entire center pulling you up. Bro, okay, I couldn't film any of that. But he just paddled his way across on the boat, and we just. Mate, look at that. Yeah, let's get the. Let's get out of here, please. Yeah. I was yeah. so scared of falling in that wall. I agree. Let's just go. You, you did so good. Let's torch. Let's get out of here, boys. Um, um, this thing we've ever done. It was a crazy adventure. It's called. Is that what's thirteen in the morning? Yeah, nearly seven a.m. Just gone to six a.m. Well, you can see at the bottom there. It's light. One 
Well, that's the entrance we just came out of. It's daylight. This is what we came out to. I don't remember this because it was so dark. I'm not going to lie, McDonald's breakfast sounds highly appetising right now. I can't even hold this camera properly. I'm not even going to lie, McDonald's sounds absolutely amazing right now. McDonald's breakfast, we just got out, been in there six hours or so, came out to this. Well. Back into the trusty Audi, and now we've got this unreal trip to make down the side of a cliff, so. Guys, I'm just gonna say this. You know, like the video. If, like the video if you enjoyed it. Like the video if you didn't, because <laughs> that was unreal. Um, like the video for if you wanted to see Dan in peril. Yeah, like, like, him. Like, the, like the video if you s enjoyed seeing Andrew Panic in the boat. Uh, like the video if uh, you want to see more like this. Like the video if you don't want to see more like this. Just like the video. Uh, leave me a comment as well. What do you, what part of that would scare you? Would it be the fact that you're underground for so long? Would it be the fact that you're stranded? Uh, that you might have to swim through minus temperature waters? I don't know. But as always guys, we survived. We live another day. We'll never stop going. No mine, no cave, no underground. Nothing will stop us. We are the elite and we're going to keep going because we've got Japan to do. Now we get back from Japan, we've got Germany to do. And after that, we have the world to finish off conquering. So, yeah, until next video. So this is what we're dealing with right now, it's foggy out here guys, but this is a cliff, this is what we drove up in the pitch black, sheer drops next to us, and a lot of angry sheep.